Only on seven, a man busted for spraying graffiti on a highway overpass. Upset neighbors pulled out their cell phones and they started recording him in action. Uh, that's when they call it Seven Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl. She joins us live from Detroit's West Side, where she confronted this guy. I haven't even seen your story yet, and I'm already <laughs> applauding this move, Ronnie. I have to tell you, some of these people I just don't understand. But, you know, maybe this guy, when he pulled into this dead end street, he thought nobody was watching or maybe nobody cared. But I'll tell you what. What he didn't know is right over here across the field, well, that's Pat's block. And you don't do wrong on Pat's block and get away with it. And real quick, just to let you know, we weren't going to show this guy's face on TV, but he admitted to me that he'd take the overpass. He's proud of his work, so it's all fair game from here. You don't want a peace sign? Look at him. He says he was just spreading peace and love, but neighbors aren't loving the graffiti guy's artwork. He said that he was tagging and it was for love and peace. I said, not in my neighborhood. Here's how the drama unfolded. It was Wednesday night when Pat and James, both dedicated Detroit 300 volunteers, spotted a car parked on the dead end street next to the highway overpass, just across the field from their block. They knew right away the guy was up to no good. And I told him, I said, hey, what are you doing? Stop. Then he turned around and he looked and he jumped up and he started running back to his car. So I came out of the fence and we ran down this side and we caught him. You weren't going to stand for that? No, nope, not at all. That's when Pat, James, and other neighbors started snapping pictures and recording video on their cell phones. But that's illegal. But that's illegal. You can't tag anything in the city of Detroit, honey. That's illegal, and you should know that. There he was, caught red-handed with the paint on his hands. You don't want a peace sign? Look at him. Do you live in Detroit? Do I need, do I need yes. peace? Only he doesn't live in Detroit. So Bradley Guggen, I want to make sure, am I pronouncing your name correctly, Bradley Guggen? Turns out Bradley lives in Hazel Park, and talking to him on the phone, he seems pretty proud of his work. Oh, so it wasn't spray paint, it was industrial. Please, boy. I'm just trying to clean this city up, and then here you are coming here with more paint on the wall that we just got rid of. And you know what? He says that this isn't his only lovely work. He's actually been tagging overpasses all the way down to Seven Mile. And due to time constraints, Bradley wasn't able to come do an interview with me, but he is more than happy to share his story, explain himself. We're going to be meeting Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock outside the NSO where he has other work on display. And of course, I'm sure at some point in time, he'll get to explain his artwork to the Detroit Police Department. They're not putting up with this stuff any longer. In fact, more than a dozen graffiti artists have been busted over the past several months. Bradley, you might be joining them. For now, we're live on the city's west side. Back to you. Boy, you got to celebrate Pat saying not in my block, and I hope the Detroit police make him scrub off those nice peace signs that he's tagged on our highways in Detroit. Thank you so much, and Ronnie. And I will say, go ahead. And real quick, we have to give a huge shout out to the neighbors because mm -hmm. we say all the time, you see something, say something. They got his plate number. They went up and they talked with him. I mean, he has offered to come out here and rub this clean, but of course, they want it done properly. But maybe he'll also get to do that through some community service. Love it, love it. Thanks a lot, Ronnie. Good job out there.